Hi, this is Brian Trulin with Quarterback Film Room Draft Guide In-Depth Look. Easton Stick, the North Dakota State quarterback, looking at a game from his senior campaign against South Dakota State. We're going to go throw by throw and see what we can evaluate from the film. So right off the bat here, we're going to see Stick in the shotgun. He makes a pre-snap read to get the ball out against soft zone coverage. And he's putting the ball on his receiver there. Stick's a guy who reminds myself of current 49er quarterback Nick Mullins. Uh, when Mullins was coming out, and even Mullins as a, you know, heading into his third year as a pro quarterback, but he does play the game like Mullins. Stick under center operates very comfortably. Here he's on the move, stops, sets up smoothly, and notice the efficiency within his mechanics that start from the ground up with his feet, play action and his ability to reset quickly and throw the ball deep. Very decisive with his decision-making. And the ball does, you know, not get exactly to where he wants the ball to go, but he's throwing that thing 55, 60 yards down the field, and he's doing it in quick order. And we can see the pass. Well, here's the setup. Not a lot of wasted motion. Very efficient from a mechanical standpoint. Third and seven for the Bison. Sticks and shotgun 10 personnel. And he's going to take a shot deep again. He puts pretty good arc on this throw. He gets the ball out on time and he undershoots his receiver just a little bit, but that's a really good play by that cornerback. Here NDSU comes back with another deep ball. The, the, the very next play on third and three and Stick completes it. Almost identical throws. Very nice touch and pretty good placement there. So he's a guy who's comfortable throwing deep. He's comfortable doing a lot of things at the position in a pro-style manner. And he does have a baseball background as well, and you can see it in the way he throws the football and the way he's able to stop, reset, and fire. <clears throat> Again, three-step drop from the shotgun. Another deep ball for Stick here. Pre-snap, that cornerback's eight yards off. Stick's still going to use eye manipulation down the middle of the field. Give his wide receiver a chance. And that's a really good throw. Because remember, he can't lead the receiver out of the back of the end zone here. So he throws it behind him on purpose just a little bit, and that's a really good throw. Obviously, it's not complete, but under center for the Bison, this is going to be a shot play that they design, and Stick does a good job in terms of reading what's not there and trying to get whatever he can. Gains about five or six yards. Safe with the football on that play, not forcing anything. Forcing the issue is something that he did that he does struggle with later on in this contest. Right here, really good feet, really good throwing motion on this play. Notice the safety coming down at the snap right there. He's coming into the box. Stick knows intuitively where the vacated zone is. And he throws his wide receiver open to that void. So Stick was down at the East-West Shrine game. He had an okay week of practice, and he played pretty well in the game. Um, so I think he may have Im improved his stock a little bit down in Tampa. But on this play, Stick is going to feel third and long. He shows play strength here to get away from the defensive lineman, to shake him off, and to make something happen with his feet. And you can see how quick he is. And you can see his running ability in the open field, his ability to be very, very agile and run the football. Here's going to be a play action concept by the Bison. Now they're in the red zone, first and 10, prime opportunity to call something like this. Scheme a guy open, Stick does a great job. Again, notice the mechanical efficiency with his feet, with his release, throwing on time. That's a, that's a thing of beauty right there. This is a a thing of absolute beauty.
More play action for the Bison. Sticks, you know, and he does have a, he does have a tendency to, to extend. When he gets out of structure, his instinct is to extend and create, and that's a good thing. Most of the time, other times it does get him into trouble. Right here shows the ability to get out of a tough situation. Again, play action. They have an extra blitzer coming post snap. The back does pick him up. But he feels the pressure, and again, he makes something happen. Now, if, if he's going to continue to do this at the pro level, he's going to have to be a little bit more safe and cognizant of the defenders trying to take his head off. But it's an asset that he brings with him to the National Football League. Play action from the gun, again, being very decisive. As we see it again. And he puts the ball on his guy with the perfect trajectory. Leading him to green grass for six. End zone copy on this one. We see the quick eyes. And the ability to be decisive. And notice how he throws this wide receiver into a window. Right behind the ear of this Mike linebacker. That takes a very confident mentality in terms of being a thrower of the football. And I'd argue that Stick is probably top two or top three in this class in terms of being confident in his ability to fit balls into tight spaces and into windows. Again, more of the same under center play action. Crisp with his feet and just overshoots the wide receiver by just a little bit. Stick gets sacked on, on this particular play. Nothing's there. This is a time on second and ten. Notice the shell. Two high safeties. The cornerbacks are off. Probably some sort of a prevent or a quarter zone under coverage. This is a time when you just got to take the swing route. And we can see the, the, the swing route is open right there as this linebacker right here. Eyes are on Stick. Stick's looking left. Freezing this linebacker coupled with this slot receiver route to the inside. Take the swing right now. Here we go, Stick finding his in-breaking route and putting the ball on him in stride. So on this play, the ball does get away from Stick just a little bit. And this is an issue for him at times on tape. The ball will get away from him at times as he tries to throw this slot receiver into a zone just a little bit behind him. See it from the end zone angle. Perhaps Stick wanted his wide receiver to sit down a little bit, but as the strong safety was creeping up there, so I can see maybe why he thought the receiver would stop, but still a little bit inaccurate there. This is an incomplete pass, but his foot suddenness is elite. He's able to get out of his play action fake really quickly and set up immediately, and he throws that back wheel route to the tight end, but just overshoots him. It really wasn't even there. So Here Stick gets out of the pocket, forces something on a sprint out. Nothing's there. He's just trying to make something happen up by seven. And he throws a pick, actually. Here's, a, uh, here's an overshoot again by stick to his tight end. And in this situation, that backside cornerback is going to, you see him cheat under, and he comes into that seam route right here. We see the, we see the cornerback falling off the comeback into the seam. This maybe is a situation where stick needs to just take the deep comeback as opposed to trying to force the seam.
<clears throat> Stick forces something here. Again, third and ten, so you can't really fault him. He's trying to force something into triple coverage. And again, he trusts his arm to be able to make these throws. Here, here he comes back. Again, the too high shell safety rotation at the snap. And notice this. There's two high safeties right now. Once the ball is snapped, this safety comes down. If he's coming down, it, it, it means the backside safety is rotating to the middle third of the field. Stick intuitively knows where the void is, and it's up the far hash to the skinny post. That's exactly where he goes. And he throws a dime. A very quick decision maker was really comfortable in this NDSU offense. Obviously, had four years of starting experience, so that also played a role in how comfortable Stick was as a Bison quarterback. More play action, and he's throwing it 56 to 61 yards down the field deep. And again, it's not a completion. It does draw a pass interference, but a really good deep ball here by Stick, showing above average arm strength and touch on that throw and drawing the PI call. Roughly a 60 yard throw. On this play, Stick comes back first and 10. There is some pressure as we, as we see the uh, right guard of the Bison does get beat here. So Stick is sacked on this play. Not much he can do there. Here's a cover two hole shot that he puts on his receiver. Quick processing here on this and he um, fits this football right into the cover two void for a big time completion to his receiver. Here he's going to run the football and the Bison did do this often. They would utilize his ability as a runner. Probably not something you're going to see at the National Football League level. There he walks into the end zone on a design run, showing uh, the ability to get north and south pretty quickly. Here's a throw by Stick. Seam ball again, middle of the field safety rotation. They rotate to a too high look, it looks like. Would like to see Stick a little bit more decisive and quick with his feet on this. You see how they're just maybe a half of a beat late? He needs to get the ball out a hair of a second faster to put the ball on him faster. As he leads him into that defender. Stick throwing the swing around here. Taking what's there. And here the pressure gets to stick. Again, he could have taken the swing, but I can understand why he's trying to extend, but he extends himself into oncoming rushers. So this is our in-depth look on NDSU quarterback Easton Stick, a guy who right now I have pegged as a uh, fourth to fifth round prospect. He's going to be a developmental quarterback for a team. Hopefully he goes to a good system. But he's a guy who has many tools at his disposal um, that that a, an NFL team will find useful at the position. So he has a future as a developmental guy with the potential to start down the road uh, for an in-depth report on stick, as well as every other 2019 quarterback prospect, check out our draft guide. You can visit qbfilmroom.cells.com to learn more.